Mayhap I ought to fight for the other side. You know, even the odds. Yeah, it would be fun. A spectacle for the ages. The grand melee is poised to begin, and Lucia would not be late. Sir Emmerich informs me that the Alliance leaders have agreed to his proposal. The grand melee will be held here, in the shadow of the Gates of Judgment, and in sight of the capital. An announcement has been made, and Allied forces are currently en route. The eyes of Ishgard are upon us, Lavenza. We must not fail. A rare opportunity to see you pit yourself against Allied forces, outside of Kartno, perhaps. I would not miss this for the world. How far in am I? I I'm not totally sure, but um I mean I'm about to do the grand melee if you know how far that is. Um I'm pretty sure I finished 3.1 last night. So probably within 3.2 right now. Started just today, and I didn't even know what 3.1 means. <laughs> and I don't even know what 3.1 Um So just as an FYI, um, like I've played through the whole game. I'm going through New Game Plus now to re-experience the story, because I've, I've played the game since A Realm Reborn Beta, um, and I've never made more than one character, so I've only gone through the story once, so I'm going through it again before Endwalker comes out and um, so I don't know how you feel about spoilers but you will certainly be spoiled <laughs> if you continue to watch this um, uh, but so 2.0 is a realm reborn 1.0 doesn't exist anymore that was it's been rebooted or whatever that stuff was scrapped so 2.0 is a realm reborn. 3.0 is Heaven's Word. 4.0 is Stormblood. 5.0 is Shadowbringers. And then, so point one was um, like 3.1 was just the first patch that came out after the launch of Heaven's Word. I don't mind. I'm looking for answers for everything I can. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, if you've got any questions, let me know. Like I said, I've um, I'm current with all the story. I have every combat job and, um, gathering and crafting at max level. So here's the question. How is the game connected to mainline non online games? Um, so there's no, um, like solid connection. Like, this is not a sequel or prequel or anything else to any of the other games. In particular, Nova Crystallis. 13 series and 15. Yeah, there's no... Um, I mean, from my understanding, I, the only other Final Fantasy games I've played is 11 and this one. I've only ever played, really, the MMOs. I've dabbled in some of the other ones, but I've never completed them. Um, but from my understanding, outside of, you know, like, 10 and 10 2 and some other cases here um none of the games are really connected to any of the others um and this is the same it's its own story its own world or whatever um but i think just you know with it being an mmo and all um they try to cater to final fantasy fans so they do have a lot of things that they include that are kind of Easter eggs or whatever for people that have played the series. I played all of them except 14 and 12, which were the online games. 12 was not. 11 was the online game. But yeah, there's like kind of Easter eggs and stuff like that that exist um, in the game that... Um, certainly mean more to people that have played the other games, but if you haven't played them, it's not going to hurt your experience to the game. 
Um, and there's a ton of glamour or like basically gear in the way it looks that is taken from previous games. Like I think they just released a set in some of the side content that's out of 12, I want to say. Uh, but there is gear and, like, mounts that are out of 15, 7. Um, I mean, a lot of the the well-known gear, like the first artifact armors, are, you know, for the, for the jobs from A Realm Reborn, are classic Final Fantasy sets. You know, so the, the classic, um, you know, like Black Mage and white maid sets and dragoon stuff like that i want lights gun blade if it's here um so yeah 13 again i'm not as familiar with exactly what all the but um 13 was the one with the um like the chick was the protagonist i think and that's one of the earliest crossovers they did in the game they have a bunch of ar armor um and weapons from 13 unfortunately um there is the gun blade but the um uh the gun breaker which was introduced in shadow bringers that uses a gun blade as their weapon um unfortunately the gun blade that they introduced for that crossover is not for the gun breaker because we didn't have gun breaker back then so I think it's the Paladin that gets Light's Gunblade. If I'm correct, I don't know for sure. Um, uh, but, I mean, you could easily look it up, I'm sure. Uh, but it is in there. I mean, there's... At this point, there's glamour from most of the, of the mainline series in the game that I can think of at least again, I'm not super familiar with all of the games, but I've learned b about quite a bit of them through playing this one. Okay. We got a nice little group of people here. It ain't often highborn dandies deign to fight alongside us hoi polloi. Like all our name days rolled into one it is. Then again, it's our national pride that's at stake. National and personal. I ain't about to let a snooty, a snotty-nosed lordling show me up. That's neat then for me. I love the mainline series. Favorite of mine is actually 13-2. Okay, yeah, I'm... Yeah, again, like I said, 13 was probably... I think one of the first, if not the first, like, crossover events we had in the game. I mean, figuring, you know, timing and everything, 13 and then 14. So, um... But they've had you know, a 15 event since then. And there's been no like seven remake event yet, but people are hoping for one. Was, was there a 10 event? I don't think there's been an event for 10, but they've, they've released like armors and stuff like that. Yeah. I think they had like minions and armors that were associated with a fan fest many moons ago where they released um what are the characters uh Titus and Yuna I believe their armor also I love how I took over an hour in character creation oh yeah that's I mean some people don't but I do every time <laughs> every time I've spent more than that that amount of time in character creation the second commander and Hilda's lieutenants shall see to the security of the city in my absence. The melee demands my undivided attention. Tis a matter of pride for the Alliance as well. 
they will not scruple to send their best against us. Yet we must not ca not be cowed. Too much rests on our success. It looks to be a veritable who's who of Eorzean alliance. The only question is, who came to watch and who came to fight? Hmm, Nanamo? Definitely Nanamo. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely fighting. I decided to go with the cat-eared race with blue hair and blue eyes. Archer fans of a particular anime will know who it is. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, depending on how no new you are, um, just as an FYI, Archer does upgrade to Bard at level 30. Um, I don't know. I know a lot of people get confused with the class and job designations, but classes are essentially like a relic of um, 1.0 that they kind of kept around. And then eventually you just up, essentially just the jobs are what's important. And the classes are just kind of like a, a pre upgraded version of the, uh, of the jobs. Okay. So I think we're ready to go. That's just another player. And of course, if you don't know, you one character can play all the jobs. Like I showed earlier, I've got all of them maxed out. There she is. I say, when you didn't appear, I began to question. Nothing. Never mind. Ahem. To think that we are mere moments away from facing the cream of Eorzea's soldiery in battle. That I am mere... Hmm. What if, uh, but what if, oh, what am I saying? I have to stop imagining the worst. I must think of the victory, of the glory, of the stories I will tell Honoro when he awakes. Here it is. Okay. I remember this. I, I re remember really enjoying it. I am ready, old girl. Are you? Hell yeah, let's let's do the thing. By the fury, how could I forget? Father, bid me present this to you. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I know it is sudden, but we believe the men would find it inspiring if you bore the colors of House Fortan into battle. Pray do us this honor. During the grand melee, some of your gear will be glamoured. Your attributes and abilities will be unaffected. The game is easy to get into, at least for me. Yeah, it was for me, too. I know some people struggle with it, at least early on. A, it's worth it, and some don't. <laughs> some like it from the beginning, so. And here I come. Hero walking in. Looking smexy. Let all here present heed well the rules of engagement. The Grand Melee is a large-scale battle in which an allied company of Ulden, Gridanian, and Lamincen forces will be pitted against a company of Ishgardian forces. Wow, do three to one? <laughs> I thought it was more of a 1v1 kind of tournament or whatever. When a combatant is incapacitated, the opposing company will be awarded tactical points. The first company to attain the des uh, the designated tactical rating of 100 points is declared the victor. It's interesting that they made like a game out of this one, yet they never did anything more with it. During the Grand Melee, 
officiants may mark certain combatants with the Fury's gaze, which will be indicated by an ethereal tether linking them to their company's flag. While defeating most combatants will award your company one tactical point, defeating marked combatants will award your company ten tactical points. Marked combatants also possess enhanced attributes, rendering them more powerful and more difficult to defeat. Defending and defeating these combatants is the key to victory. I don't know why they never made this into like a a PvP mode. People were asking for it like ever since this came for the out. Honor and the glory of Ishgard. There's Nanamo. Oh, she's not fighting? <laughs> I wonder what job she would be if she was. All is ready then. Very well. Brave men and women of the Eorzean Alliance, let the grand melee begin! I remember this ends with a 1v1 versus Raubon. Forward, forward, Ishgard, Ishgard. The Fury's gaze is upon us. Ravenza, Lord of Mandolin, attend to the marked ones. They fall. Find the nets. Press our advantage. Ah, Pippin! Come, Ish Guardian, show us your medal. Sorry, old Pip, but you're going down. Oh, that's our own. Ishgard, rally to the first commander. I don't think they have anybody tethered anymore. Just making short work of these dudes. Oh, there's Pippin again. What are you doing? Cheating. I took you out. <laughs> oh, here we go. Aye, that's the spirit. Flames, adders, maelstrom, forward. Ah, nice. I've got it now. The Fury's gaze has fallen upon... General Raubon and hell yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. What the? Cyclops, Cyclops, everyone on your guard. 
All forces fall back. Oh, here comes Thancred. He's going to do something cool. Dude, he just uppercut. Continue the melee. I will deal with him. He's so full of, like, rage and grief. <laughs> Humph, Daft sighed. You heard the man. Back to it. All forces, form a line on Lavenza now. Nanamo is definitely a black mage. Yeah. Let's do this, Raubon. I remember this being pretty epic. Well met, I will not lie. I was hoping it would come to this. So then, shall we dance? Let us. Damn it all. I don't remember what I first did this fight as, but I'm glad it's a dark night now. Just look badass. By the fury, it's just the two of them in there. On your guard, Lord of Manling, our fight is not yet finished. That's all you bastards got, come on then. Give us another. Gods, they just keep coming, but we cannot, we will not yield. You hear me, old girl? Don't you dare lose. Wahaha, ha. brilliant, brilliant. You are indeed the warrior of light. But I am the bull of Alamigo. Oh. Strength, Lavenza, strength. Now is your chance. Strike him down for the glory of Ishgard. And I struck him down while I was reading. I all right, take your victory. You've earned it. <laughs> I just beat him while I wasn't even paying attention to the fight. Like, okay, what do we do now? <laughs> did did she win? Then we we Yep, we won. Victory is ours! Ishgard! Ishgard! Well fought! Well fought, my friend! You truly are the warrior of warriors. Thank the fury you were on our side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
my lungs are burning, and I can barely stand. I didn't think I could do it, but then I did. We did. We faced the Alliance's best, and together, with one heart, with one purpose, we prevailed. After a thousand years of hardship, of strife and bloodshed, we are strong enough to rise to any challenge, be it on the battlefield or beyond. The future holds so much promise, so much joy. We need only show them the way. Magnificent display, Sir Knight. While doubtless less than pleased, I am quite sure the grand companies are honored to have been bested by such valiant warriors. The honor was ours, Your Grace. I am pleased to see that Ishgard's proud martial tradition is being upheld. When the time comes, I trust you will fight alongside your brothers and sisters in the Aeorzean Alliance with the same fervor you displayed in opposing them. I note that our friend elected to take the field in Ishgardian colors. At my behest, Your Grace, if we have given offense, the blame lies with me. <laughs> Fear not, Sir Knight. It was a surprise, nothing more. And any hint of ill feeling was thoroughly dispelled by the spectacle of our mutual friend's duel with General Rauban. Couldn't have had an epic fight like that if I was on their side. I guess against Aimeric would have been cool. Surprises, I could not help but marvel at the passion and unity of purpose displayed by your countrymen. Given the troubling reports we have received of late. I shall take that as a compliment, Your Grace. The events to which you allude are the price of change. The end of the Dragonsong War marks the beginning of a new era for our nation and for the people, high and lowborn alike, who will lead her into the future. Ah, yes. The people. Change is indeed a perilous thing, for we who seek it, and they who fear it. I shall pray for Ishgard, and for you. Well, that made for a refreshing change. Congratulations on your victory, by the way. These guardians certainly seem happy with themselves. I, for my part, am merely glad you did not strain anything in the process of single-handedly winning the battle for them. <laughs> it's about right. <clears throat> Ooh. Tis but a scratch, I assure you, and I will not suffer you to worry over me. Not when we have a dozen far more important concerns. Make that two dozen. Still, as Yestola never tires of telling me, we can but face them head on one at a time. One day at a time. As Minfilia would have done.
This has got to be the end of 3.2, right? You know, big event like that. Pippin. As long as I live, I shall never forget that duel. It was inspiring and humbling in equal measure. I feel honor bound to point out, however, that my father was fighting one handed. <laughs> good boy, good boy. Thal's balls, I had forgotten what it was like to feel so alive. Not since leaving the blood sands have I had the privilege. Not since the bull of Alamigo hung up his swords. Back then the outcome might have been different, but I do not begrudge you your victory. I know how far you have come, how much you have endured. Our fight, our fight only confirmed it. We shall have to do this again one day, when time allows. I shall look forward to it. Now go. Go to the Ishgardians and celebrate your victory. You have earned it. Come, Pippin. Her grace is expecting us. Lead on, father. The messengers have already been dispatched. Let us pray that this victory has the desired effect. That was just another battle for you, I bet. But for my lot, <laughs> it wouldn't so uh, it weren't so much the fighting as the not tripping over each other's feet. His lordship might think about uh, laying on some actual training for us next time. I, can vent, I confess, it stung my pride to be brushed aside so easily, but when the flames subsided and I saw you standing there triumphant, there was only gladness in my heart. Yeah, I've been thinking and I've been debating whether or not to talk about it, you know, just because certain comparisons get kind of old after a while, but I do appreciate... Um, you know, having played WoW for many years and always feeling like, I mean, almost not even second fiddle, but, you know, far down the line with characters. It's nice in here that they have you actually go toe to toe with, you know, who are considered to be some of the the strongest characters, you know, and come out the victor. Although, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there were moments like that in WoW as well. You know, if they had various quests or story quests or whatever, that at least had like a competition like this. Um, yeah. Said your goodbyes? In all the years I have known Rao Bon, I cannot recall ever seeing him look so happy in defeat. <laughs> well, everything seems to be falling into place, does it not? The Asgardians have claimed their symbolic victory, and the, and the Eorzean alliance has been strengthened in the process. Be proud, Lavenza. You made this happen. You have learned the emote victory. Nice. Thank you all for watching this video. Tonight's stream, and particularly the story, um, has been some of the best yet. I think this has gotten the biggest reaction out of me so far. It's just been just phenomenal. And uh, if you want to come and join me to uh, uh, experience it as well, the link to my Twitch is down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, thank you again, and uh, you have a good one.